sponsored in part by dollarseed.com for your flowers, vegetables, and herbs. All organic seeds, all only a dollar a pack. dollarseed.com and by willspringssoap.com. Handmade soaps with simple recognizable ingredients, making soaps using the cold kettle process while using traditional methods. willspringssoap.com. The Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener and Rain Saucer have partnered together. For more information on how you can purchase your own rain saucer, visit the wisconsinvegetablegardener.com. And on the right-hand side of the page, click on Rain Saucer Information. Welcome to the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Extra. I'm Joy Baird. We're in the small garden today and we're going to plant some zucchini for our fall harvest. Now, a problem that some of us face with zucchini is a insect called the squash boar vine beetle. Now, what that uh, insect does, it's a moth that lays its eggs into the stem of the squash plant in early development. Lays its eggs as larva and as the plant matures, so does the larva and it turns into worms that eat the inside of your squash plant out and kills it. Well, let's go to the big garden and we'll take a look at some of the results of what happens if you don't catch it and how to catch it to prevent from killing your squash and still getting production out of it come this fall. Now with the squash, we're probably not gonna have a good crop of this because we've had uh, encounters with the squash vine boar beetle because we've dealt with it quite a bit here in just this portion of the garden, which is odd for us because we've got squash planted in all the other areas. So I wanna show you what that looks like so you can have a better squash uh, production than what we're having. And if you catch it early, the squash plant will still survive. Let's, let's see here. Where it's coming out of the ground is usually where the most upset, where they, they are formed at. So you'll take your fingers and just squeeze. If it's solid like a rock, you're okay. But if it's a discoloration, a light lime green yellow, and it's really spongy, cut into it with a knife and slightly peel it back, and that's usually where that larva is. If you extract the larva and dispose of it, your plants will survive just like we have with the buttercup, the dumpling, and the hubbard. We've dug multiple uh, worms out of them and they're still living. They will not hurt the butter nut squash because it has a much denser vine. So that's something you want to look for if you're having difficulty with your vine boar beetle uh, eating your squash. Just over there, 10 feet away, we have uh, zucchini plants and they have not touched them at all. So we're still working on some of the research on why certain areas of the garden is getting hit worse than others. But that's something I want you to be aware of as we get into the midsummer months and you might be wondering why is my plant dying when I've watered it very heavily. So here's what the squash boar vine beetle will do to your squash. Your, squ your squash will look like it just needs water, but what in turn it's really doing is there's larva that has been in that vine as whenever it started to grow, eggs have been laid in there, and as the plant matures, that larva turns into a worm, and I'll show you what that looks like over there in a moment. But if you get it caught early enough, you can dig that worm out and your plant will survive. So I'll show you that right here. On one that already is dead, but the larva, the worm is still in the plant. Okay, here's what the inside of the vine looks like after the boar beetle has ate through it. You can see it's got a slimy consistency to it and you just keep digging and there's that worm. There's the vine boar beetle worm right there. So what you need to look for is at the base of your plants. So on our squash here on this particular plant about a week ago I dug uh, the, the worm out of the vine and it's recommended after you dig it out to cover the vine back over because it will heal over like a scab. So it has healed over and as you can see the plant's very healthy, happy. It's actually put on quite a bit of growth since the time I did the surgery on it. So as long as you catch it early, you can still have good squash over the summer months. Another way to prevent the squash borne vine beetle from getting into your plant is after you've planted it like we have, you could put a cloth over top of it to prevent the insects from getting to it until it gets ready to flower. Another way is take some handy household aluminum foil and gently wrap around the stalk of the zucchini plant gently to prevent the moth from being able to lay its eggs in the stalk. 
We also, here at the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener, Holly and I, we have a podcast for those of you who may not be aware of it. It's called the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Podcast, and it's on BePreparedRadio.com, the Preparedness Radio Network. Each week we talk about a variety of different things related to garden, reusing, repurposing, and we have a good time doing it. Each week we also feature a guest who's making a difference in the organic gardening world. And this week's guest is no other than Brainerd's Minnesota's Larry Hall. For those of you who may not know who Larry Hall is, he is the inventor of the self-watering rain gutter system. And to find more information about Larry and his invention, you can tune into our podcast, and that can be found at BePreparedRadio.com, as well as our website at the WisconsinVegetableGardener.com, as well as our Facebook page. And if it's after August, if it's August 8th or after, we'll provide a link for the, our podcast in the show notes below. I'm Joy Baird, and this has been a Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Extra. For more organic gardening, visit the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener dot com.